Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everyone? Uh, we're live on Facebook right now. I want you guys to join the conversation. We're talking Zebo from yesterday. We're talking uh, the NBA Panani rookie cards. If you want to talk about that, if you want to talk about Kings basketball just in general, lineups. It's August. It's supposed to be dead month, right? But there's always something going on, guys. If you want to talk NBA basketball in general, lots of cool stuff there. Uh, my computer is telling me that HD mode has been deactivated because the internet connection is not fast enough. Well, you see, Xfinity is just not the best, right? Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be 250 megabytes of, of pure speed, but you never know with these type of companies. But anyways, I appreciate Maggie Too Legit coming on and telling me that the audio is good. I'm assuming that I'm assuming it's good because of the heart. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys for joining. I I want to talk about Zebo uh, a little bit. We had some technical difficulties as far as audio yesterday at 92.1 in Stockton, the voice of Stockton, uh, with my co-host Dustin Brakeville. But the audio clip, I believe it's about 36 minutes. It was uploaded on Audio Boom, which then transmits it on to iTunes, uh, not Spotify, but Google Play, TuneIn Radio. So we're pretty much on every platform except for Spotify. Still trying to get on there, guys, uh, for the people that do use Spotify. But for the most part, you guys do use iTunes, and we are there. If you enjoyed the podcast, leave a rating for us. We would really appreciate it. But I want to talk Kings basketball. Join the conversation, guys. Uh, Zebo. So, as I said yesterday, I am not justifying this guy. He he deserves a lot of blame. He put himself in a very, very uncomfortable situation yesterday. It, it wasn't the best of decisions, but he did it. How do the Kings move on? They came out with a, with a small statement saying that they don't have you know all the concrete facts yet and they have to get everything together. And then they'll go about their business, um, maybe handing a suspension. I, I don't think it'll be more than five games, maybe two to five games, if that. You know, there's a lot of people that don't, that, as was said yesterday, uh, that don't agree with weed or marijuana, uh, especially if you come from a conservative background and conservative household. Nowadays, if you come from a liberal household and you tend to believe in it I'm I don't think it was that big of a deal uh, he wasn't doing cocaine he wasn't doing heroin he wasn't doing anything like that so but again I'm not justifying his actions it it wasn't needed the entire summer we've been talking about building a positive culture in Sacramento uh, Z Zebo was supposed to be one of those guys and I still think I, no, I don't think I know he's still that guy right that teammates the younger guys on this roster will pay attention to, will respect him because he's been through it all. Yeah, he made a dummy, uh, a dumb mistake, but everyone makes mistakes, guys. Again, nobody has joined the text line yet. Um, but yeah, I, I want to know how you feel about it. Do you feel that Zebo should be suspended um, or maybe just fined? Was he out of line? Yeah, he had over... I believe two pounds when when the laws is one pound and you know he he did just move from from Memphis to California I don't know what the what the laws are over there obviously marijuana is not legal federally uh, there's about seven states I believe that it's legal in uh, California is one of them um, but again the NBA prohibits all NBA players from smoking marijuana um, as I said yesterday I said they should legalize it. The NBA, the four major professional sports uh, leagues, they should legalize it for athletes that are over 30 years old. Hear me out. I believe at that stage of your career, your body has been through a lot. It's taken a big toll. And if you're above 30, you should be able to, to take certain doses uh, medically, of course. Uh, it would have to be cleared by, by your doctor, by the league. And I think that would be okay. Now, if you're an athlete that's twenty, that's from 21 to 29, uh, then it'd be a no-go. Um, that's just my take. 
how do you regulate that? I'm not sure. That's just an idea. But I feel like this story is bigger than Zebo. I said that yesterday. This is a sports wide issue. You have a lot of athletes that smoke marijuana recreationally, some medically, others. Uh, medically, by, by that I mean that the people, the athletes that are trying to heal themselves from the rigorous sports that they do play. Um, a lot of athletes smoke and some get caught, some don't. Zebo got caught yesterday or two nights ago. It happened. Uh, I'm sure he, he he's going to be very ap apologetic about it. Uh, he's going to say he messed up, blah, blah, blah. The conventional apology from athletes and organizations. But no, for the people that say, oh, you got to cut them, stop it. They're, they're not going to cut them for that. Uh, again, is it a felony? Sure. But it's weed. I, I get it. You know, it, it it shouldn't have done it. Like he should have never done that. And no, he wasn't trying to sell. I I said that in the podcast. If come on, man, the guy has made over 150 million dollars over his career. It's not with the intent of sell. Uh, you that's just a disclosure for saying he was over the limit. But make no mistake about it, he never. It just it just doesn't make sense if he was trying to make a couple bucks on the side like. No, he was going to a party, or he was at a party, and then it just happened that after all the riots and 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 the, and, and the cop cars that were vandalized, they caught him with the weed. Um, but yeah, guys, another topic is today was the NBA Panani NBA rookie photo shoot. Okay, lots of great stuff there. You had all the rookies except for Justin Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I, I'll say this, for the people that are looking for for these cards, you guys should definitely check out HoopCats.com. They're one of our sponsors. They they specialize in, in uh, Kings memorabilia, uh, the old Kings, the new Kings. They have it all. I just played a, a small promo of it. Uh, I'll play it again for you guys. Check them out. They're always doing random giveaways on, on Instagram. Follow him at HoopCats. Uh, Jerry, the owner, is a great guy. He loves his Kings. He's a season ticket holder. You guys should definitely support his business. Going back uh, to this photo shoot, a lot of great stuff came out of it. Uh, lots of fun. Again, De'Aaron Fox always showing off his personality. The kid is great. I, I, I can't wait to watch him play. You know, D Fox, uh, special, special speed. You know, we're watching a couple of highlights here from the Vegas Summer League. He's a hound on defense. He knows how to finish. I was very impressed by him just overall. Obviously, his scintillating personality is what stands out the most, his, his great leadership. Um, but if he can... If he can take, if he can uh, develop a consistent jump shot, uh, as we're watching here, he he was fouled there, but he's gonna be crazy. Like it's he's gonna be unstoppable. And if he can develop that running shot, uh, a lot like Mike Conley, watch out. It's gonna be great. And uh, he definitely has a knack to get fouled because he's so fast. He's so deceptive, right? And just. Just look at him play defense. It's 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 great to watch, man. Again, he's a hound. He he reminds me a lot of Pat Beverly on defense. If he if if he approaches the game that way every single night, he's going to be great. Um, other than that, no one is joining. I don't know. If people are out right now. It's nine seventeen p.m. on a Friday night, and I'm here uh, doing this. But. Um, I'm hoping that some people do join the conversation. Let me know what you guys think about the Jose Bo thing. The schedule of DeMarcus Cousins is coming back to Sacramento on the 28th, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it will be a TNT game, so nationally televised. I can't wait for that. Uh, I'll for sure go say hello to the big man. Um, and, yeah, I can't wait for that game. Hoping that uh, I I believe Kings fans will give him a standing ovation, and then after that, you're the enemy. Okay, uh, 
they're going to cheer on their kings. Whoever is playing for the purple and black that night, that's who I expect the fans to applaud for the most night. But, I, yeah, I, I do expect Kings fans to really give him a standing ovation for seven years. Um, but going back to this Darren Fox kid, man, I mean, he's he's special. Just his speed, you know, just my goodness. Just look at this. My gosh. Um, but, yeah, great kid. Uh, another topic from today, Big Papa G was playing very, very well for Greece. Um, we uploaded some clips on the IG, the uh, Calba Kingdom Instagram page. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Uh, there are links in the description. Again, if you guys want to check out hoopcats.com, you guys can follow them. The, the links are inside the description. They will have the Aaron Fox cards. You guys can buy it from them or just wait until they give them away. Um, it's going to be very, very cool for Kings fans. Lots of memorabilia coming up from them. Another topic was the schedule, right? Uh, let me play some of the schedule B-roll that I have queued, queued up. This is, this is the Christmas one. We got Philadelphia against New York. We're going to see the young, the young kids with the process, right? Uh, that's that should be fun. They're gonna get exposure on national television, guys. I, I I can't wait for that. Then you got Cleveland and Golden State. That's the obvious matchup again. The rematch, uh, Washington and Boston. A nice little rivalry building up there. Obviously, Washington has to beat Boston for it to be a legit rivalry because Boston beat them last season or the the last playoffs. I can't wait for that game. Oklahoma Houston is going to be a barn burner of a game. You got Chris Paul in Houston now. You have Paul George in Oklahoma. It should be a very good game. And then, you know, Lonzo Ball on Christmas Day against the big three of the Minnesota Timberwolves. You got Jimmy Butler, Cat, and Andrew Wiggins. It should be a fun game to watch. I like the games. Uh, I don't know about New York being there unless they think Kyrie Irving might be there and then all of, all of a sudden it turns into a very good game because Kyrie against the rookie, the, the, the number one pick, uh, that should be fun to watch. Derek Ward just joined the text line or the Facebook line. Thanks for joining the show, man. It's Friday night. I understand people are probably partying uh, or <laughs> they're with family, spending some time. I'm here. Talking Kings basketball, talking NBA basketball, uh, what's happening. I've been talking Zebo. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, you know, like, it was that big of a deal with Zach Randolph. Obviously, if they do suspend him, it's going to be two to five games. Anything more than that, to me, would be excessive, guys. I I don't buy it, man. Um Again, I'm not justifying his actions. He should have been not there, uh, obviously. But again, it's weed. Like, it is what it is, man. I mean, he got caught with two pounds, which is not legal in California for recreational use. And then the NBA condones all of its players, employees, from smoking marijuana. Um, he is 36 years old, so it's at the point where his body is coming apart and he needs some 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 good stuff to 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 help him and i i i believe that if you're over 30 and this goes for all professional leagues and i'm gonna say this again and i said this earlier they should allow their athletes over 30 years old to use medicinal marijuana uh they should regulate it it should be approved by the doctors it should be approved by the nba that's just one idea it's one, it's one of my crazy ideas how do you do it? I don't know. Uh, we're watching a, a clip of Zebo coming out of jail. Uh, his his bail was twenty thousand dollars. Steep for us, the normal people, but for him, it's nothing. I mean, he's generated over one hundred and fifty million dollars over his career. Again, the whole intent to sell. He wasn't selling to to minors or to anyone else, man. I mean, it was more uh, at the Garden Hills, going and and really sharing the wealth, right? Uh, sharing it with the people that that went to that huge party. That's really what it was, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not worried about Zebo. 
and the incident weed, I'm not either. Again, if they do end up suspending him, I expect two to five games. Anything more than that would be a disgrace, honestly. Um, I don't think they should suspend him at all. I think they should fine him. Fine him about, I don't know, $500,000 to a million dollars. I don't know. Uh, the, the money should go to charity 